we're headed out to the hive where we have our beehive. We built a little stand and placed the hive out here. We tried to catch some bees, so a swarm for a couple years with no luck. So this year we ordered a bee package. So we're sure to have bees. So we want to get ready for them and we're just going to open this up and get it situated so when the bees arrive we can just pop them right in. So we get pretty big winds up here sometimes during our storm. So we have um, put a strap on just to hold, um, hold everything down. We don't want anything blowing away. And uh, we don't really, you have a, have rocks on top, so uh, that works perfectly. So we're just going to remove the, we're going to take off this top cover. Let's see if we can get this in real good. We started getting ready. We made sure we had everything we needed out here. So we took the top cover off, and then we have a, um, one of our boxes our brood boxes down here we have 10 frames in the bottom brood box and I'm gonna take five of those frames out today um, we're gonna when we install them we're gonna do the no shake method we're just gonna put the whole um, bee package right inside of here and let them come out on their own so let's see we do have a spider in here so we're gonna get this wiped out and cleaned out. We haven't had any bees living in here yet, so oh, we still got a piece of paper in there. Get that out of there too. So we're gonna get this wiped out and ready and get it all ready. We have a few weeks before our bees come, but we have to take a trip out of town for a few days and we just wanna make sure we're all, when we get back from our trip, it's going to be go time. We're going to have to go right and pick up our bees like a day or two later. And I just want to make sure that everything is ready so when they get here, we can get them into the hive as quickly as possible to make it a smooth transition for them. So we're going to get this cleaned up and get five frames back in this bottom okay, so brooder So we've got box. it all wiped down, and I'm going to put in the little... Um, entrance reducer. We're going to put it on the smallest one uh, to start with and just slide that right in underneath on the top board. Oh, we got company, I think. <laughs> Mr. Cave got old Yeller out and uh, getting the yard cleaned up from winter. We still got some snow. <laughs> sure is. It's lovely. All right, so we have got this wiped out, the entrance reducers in. Our, ta our stand that my husband built is tipped just a little bit forward, so if any water gets inside the hive, it's going to run right out. So um, this is definitely not a how-to video, but this is how we are setting up to get ready for our first bees. So we're going to get five of the frames back into this bottom brooder hive and we're just going to put them right here let's see there is five and these have the um this is um just a langstrom hive from man lake that i ordered and it's got the foundations in it so the little bees can get right to work and then we are going to put the inside cover on that. So when the bees get here, the bees are going to go right inside in that slot. We'll put the whole package right in there. Uh, we'll slip the queen in between here. One of these um, little foundations. And that will be it. So then we'll put a second brooder on but we're not going to have any frames in this one to start with we're going to put the second frame brooder box on and up here we're just going to put a feeder which i already have i just got to make some sugar water syrup to go in there and we're also going to put the feeder that comes in the 
package of bees when they come. So that will be also be up here in the top. And I'm going to be ordering a pollen patty to put in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in though or not, depending on how things are blooming when they get here the beginning of May and how much pollen is available for them. But uh, if they don't, if it's not real blooming, which we still have snow on the ground. So in a couple of weeks, we may have some stuff blooming. But we'll see how that goes when that happens. But I'm going to have a pollen patty here just in case. So after this, we're just going to put our regular cover right on the top. And that is it. We've got the hive ready. So when the bees get here, we can put them right in. And we don't have to worry about getting everything ready. Um, it's going to be a busy, busy next couple of weeks. So I like to be prepared. All right, so let's go inside. And I'm going to take you inside. And we're going to look and see what we've got. Make sure we have all the tools that we need. Um, uh, we bought a tool kit, but I cannot remember what's in it. So I'm just going to go through that, some of the things that I think we need. And if we don't have something, we're going to get that ordered. Okay, so, so let's go inside. Our little tote with the tool kit that we bought, and we have a couple of net hats that I have. They're camo instead of white, which is a little bit more fun, you know, because I like that. And a smoker, which is great. We're definitely going to need that, and the little pellets. Um, to start the smoker thing and some hive tools we got this kit from Goodland Bee Supply um, I'll put a link to the stuff that we purchased down below so you can check those out too um, it also came with this little um, so you can grab the little um, divider things I, my brain is not working right at the moment and uh, there is a knife to cut the caps off so when you're collecting honey, which we won't need that for a while. And uh, a little, I believe this is a separator, um, just kind of a guide to where to put your, your little frames. And an uh, uncapper little tool. I have no idea how to use this yet, but I'm sure I'll figure that out. When I get there, I don't need to uncap anything. Uh, a bee brush also came with it. I don't have any gloves, so I am definitely going to be jumping online and ordering a pair of gloves and uh, <clears throat> and a little uh, pollen patty. So we have that, but I think we've got everything else here. And I just put everything in this uh, Fortiflex tote. I love these things. They're not too expensive and they are so rugged. They last forever. We have them for our chickens and one for our, when we had the goats and sheep, we have one for that. Um, and we grab this for the bees. So you can just grab the tote for what you're doing and run. Um, and you don't have to go searching for everything so I like to keep everything all in one place and these totes are super awesome you can pick these up at tractor supply um, at a lot of local hardware stores and stuff so that is it for this video these are just some of the things we're doing to make sure that we're ready when our bees arrive in a couple of weeks and we are going to be set to go and I'll do a video when the bees get here and we install the package so you can see how we're going to do that um, it's our first time, so cross your fingers, it all goes well. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, see you in the next video. Bye!